So, oh my god. Oh my god. My optics god. My optic god. Oh my god. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, he is so he is the goat. Dude, he is the goat. Kamala Harris, like think about think about the virgin Kamala Harris, okay? Uh, I'm going to plant a tree because, you know, uh October 7 happened and that's really sad, okay? Versus the absolute legend okay wearing a mother keeper holding up a kidnap poster smiling ear to ear next to ben shapiro god damn god damn dude he is the optics god this is way funnier than <laughs> this is way funnier than playing ava maria uh, in, in honor of like Corey Contemporary ringing the mother bells and being like, he had the best seat in the house. He had the best seat in the house. This man. This is literally another moment where he he's throwing the thumbs up with the families of the f veteran that or, or with the soldier that died in Afghanistan sitting on top of a f military grave right there where another soldier themselves. OK, in prominent display going, yeah, yeah, throw up the thumbs up smiles, everyone. <laughs> Biden killed him. <laughs> Yo! Oh, God. It's just like, it's a perfect demonstration that he does not give a... F like, he hasn't even thought it through. He's just like, I don't give a... Dude, it's all optics, baby. I'm just doing the thing. You want me to do the thing? You want me to hold up a f poster? Whatever. What is this a Muslim? This kid looks brown. Am I holding up one of those Muslim Jews? Is that what it is? I don't know. I put the... Keep on. What do you want from me? Come on, Jews. Vote for me. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. He asked the rabbi, the memorial service, if he wants him to autograph the prayer book. I love it. Oh, so good. He's just, he is, what a f legend, dude. He is, he is so insane. Yeah, Ben Shapiro was there too. I know, I saw. What a photo, man. What a crazy photo. Donald Trump, man. He is, he truly is. He truly is the guy. He is Himothy. Rooster Goose, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. He is him. He is Himothy. This one looks Muslim. <laughs> the two most pro Israel musical theater lovers in one photo. True. I didn't even think about that. Oh my God. Donald Trump. Nah, Donald Trump is also too much of a musical theater lover to actually watch the Ben Shapiro musical theater and give it high marks. Like he would probably get out of that and be like, sucked it's no phantom of the opera now that's when the musical theater was at its peak oh no this is crazy craziness this will piss off trump's uh nazi voters they're not significant okay plenty of those look amongst amongst the nazi base of support for donald trump you have people of two different minds okay you have the nazis who are like, I don't care, he's still doing my wishes on the domestic front. You have Nazis who still think, uh, you have Nazis who still think basically that, uh, you know, I, they're, they're just like hallucinating a different position that Trump secretly has. And you have Nazis who like Israel and, and want their own white ethno state in the same way that they recognize Israel has a Jewish ethno state. So it doesn't really matter. Also, they're not that consequential of a voting block. Let's be real. Most Americans abhor the nazi designation even if their ideals align with it almost 99 percent, if not a hundred percent of the way so like you know that's some the that's that's as neither here nor there here's our guy come on dog we know your ass don't know how to read get out of here look at this mother like he knows how to read bro that come on who are you fooling
I love that he he got the little keep on to my goat, dude. Optics king. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, anti-Semitic incidents in U.S. surged a record high. According to the ADL, I wanted to bring this up as well. The ADL officially admits it counts pro-Palestine activism as anti-Semitic. Seems vital to mention in the post that an a that it's an ADL report whose director compared the Palestinian kafia to a swastika. Just a fun little reminder. Part of the overall increase comes from a change in the methodology to include expressions of opposition to Zionism as well as support for resistance against Israel or Zionists that could be perceived as supporting terrorism, the ADL said. Have some shame today. Trump on Hugh Hewitt. When you see these campus riots, you see a lot of people too, but a lot of those people are Jewish people. You know that. They're Jewish kids. Hewitt gets them back on track. Oh yeah, there are some outliers, but mostly Jewish students are afraid. That was that was a really cool, that was a really cool moment from Trump because like he's Mr. He's Mr. Room Reader in moments like this where he's like, you can't believe it. Trump then agrees to Hughes' request that he sends in the DOJ to hammer these colleges. <laughs> can't believe it. These Jews, these kids, these Jewish kids, they're protesting against Israel. Why would they do that? <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> it's um, it, it's a it's a wonderful equation, which is why I think it is also such a f stupid way to not hit this on partisan grounds for Kamala Harris, because you're doing the same thing Trump is doing. OK, when you go out on news media and f uh, complain about like campus protesters or whatever, but you're also doing it in a gay way. So you're just like literally just you're not winning anybody over you know democrats are consistently trying to position themselves as like 30 percent not as bad as the republicans and it just makes them it just makes them annoying like you're just f annoying you're weak you're annoying and also you want the same genocide to exist so like you're normalizing the genocidal ambition while simultaneously you're making your position even f weaker than the republicans it's the same trap with immigration. Why, why would anybody go, oh yeah, you guys are going to be the migrant destroyers? Okay, well, I'm going to go with the guys who have been the migrant destroyers for years then. Dude, what the don't use gay as a pejorative, seriously? No, you know what I mean. Or, well, maybe you don't, or maybe you're deliberately refusing to understand. That's the one issue that the Democrats have, okay? It's just like, no, we're going to do the genocide, but it's going to be gay, okay? Trust me. And it's like, why the would anybody why would anybody sign up for that who is looking for that like who who's like oh thank god thank god we're doing uh permanent genocide but also we're doing it in a gay way yes queen like nobody wants that it's stupid